for how God has preserved us to a time like this. And I want to thank, tell you that uh, it has been so wonderful for how God has preserved us to a time like this. Before we move forward this morning, I want us to bow down our head before we call our sister, sister, one of our sister from Italy and then one of our sister from Germany for them to confirm to us what God is saying about a time like this. It's a time for those that have here, let them hear what the Spirit of God is saying in a time like this. A time like this that uh, all Christians all over the world must run back to God. A time like this that the people that are living in sin must uh, put off their sin and return to Goshen. A time like this is a time for everybody in the world to fear God and to reverence his name because he's the creator of the universe. He created all things. Nobody created him, but the people he created have decided to spit on his feet. They have decided to mock him. They have decided to neglect him. But now they have decided to act. Eternal Father in glory, you alone is our Father. You alone is our King. That I want to bless you because you are still revealing yourself. This has been my heart desire. Lord, say, ask him. Are you not going to talk to us to let us know what is all about this coronavirus issue? Are you going to abandon us in darkness? Lord, that you are saying no. That uh, I'm like this, you need to communicate with your children. Let them know what is ahead of the world. Heavenly Father, I pray that you will give your children the boldness to stand and to speak according to what you have showed to them. Holy Spirit of the living God, Father, let this message be a message that the whole world will take lesson. As many those that have heard this message, Lord, they will remove their hand away from sin around to Goshen. Holy Spirit, let this message be a message. Lord, that we open the eyes of every man and woman that will hear it. That at the end, oh Father, we will have the cause to rejoice. Bless be the Holy Name, Father. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Um, sister, I want our sister from uh, Italy, please. I want you to share with us. Please let there be no noise everywhere. Please, the people on Zoom, let there be no noise any, everywhere. Please, I want you to share with us what God revealed to you about this Ecrola virus. Please. And after that, our sister, Mama, Sister Blessing, Mama Erica, you will confirm with it what God has revealed to you yesterday. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning to every member of Good Morning Jesus family in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, it was happened there, it was on a Thursday. So when I was sleeping, so I had the two revelations. The first one goes like this. I was in the dream, in that dream, we were in a church, so they asked us to come to the church, that they want to pray for all those people that died through the coronavirus. So we were all in the church. The church was so big, it's a Catholic church, very big church. So we were all sitting down there, everybody was holding his Bible, and we were all tying our head. Why the father was in or the pulpit. So we are waiting for those people that will break them. 
So we were praying. So of a sudden, those people they were bringing there. You know this uh, longest train, the way he used to fast when yeah, he's moving. So they were just bringing those people like that. The thing was just making boom boom because there was no space to put them down. So they were just put carrying them on their shoulders. So they were just, the way they were passing, we were praying for them because there was no space to put them on the ground to pray for them. So the thing was just making boom 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 very long. And we that we were sitting down, that we were praying, the thing was, the breeze was even affecting us to the extent many people, their attire and their cap was just falling down. So we were praying for them, the thing was just going, boom, 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 boom. Finally, the thing now finished. After everything, so we now closed. So as I was going, I was holding my Bible, I was just going, I looked the way I saw an old man. So the man now stopped me. I said, my daughter, please wait. So I now waited. So the man now came close to me and said, ah, said, ah my daughter, where does you? I said, ah, where does you? I said, are you poor true? I said, and I said, yes. I said, we have to. I said, ah, the tea, the tea is so critical. And I said, yes. So I was not saying, ah, I just pray that God should just take away this uh, sickness so that many people, are, so most people have died. And many people are still dying. You know, I said, yes, so that many people will still die. And I said, ah, well, now you don't pray that the tea should stop. He said, yes, that the tea is going to stop. But he wants to, first of all, remove the bad, bad people away. Then he will not leave the rest of people and see how those people will serve him because those people that are, that are dying, that many of them, they have houses, many of them, they have cars. Many of them, they are in position of one or the other, but they neglect him that he died to share his blood for us so that we will serve him and follow him. But now it's like his blood is wasted. So because of that, he want to wipe away the bad, bad people so that he will know the people that remain that will not serve him and follow him. I was not saying, ah, really, he not said yeah, that the, the sickness that is going to take it away, but he want to first of all remove all those bad, bad people away from the earth. Then he will not see the one that is remaining that will not serve him faithfully. And I said, okay, as I was going, I said, no, that I should come back. So I have to come back. I don't know if you people know how those uh, uh, Catholic uh, church normally do this uh, Holy Cross on the forehead, especially when they are doing the weather, and it's uh, Ash Wednesday, something like that. So when I just do that thing on my forehead, I say I should be going. That was how I left. Then I woke up for the, the, from sleep. Then I went to ease myself. Then I came back and I slept again. Then the second one was, I was in, in my house preparing for, looking for something that I would prepare to eat. So there's this my neighbor that have children. So as I was preparing the food, one of the daughter was showing one of my friends some clothes and shoes. If I want to talk to look them, she would hide them. So she was telling the girl, are these the clothes that my mommy bought for me or that I want to use for my 16th year birthday? So if I want to talk, she will hide them. So after showing that my friend everything, then the other of our younger sister now came to me and said, Auntie, do you know what? My mommy said, you are old. I said, ah, your mommy said, I'm not old. He said, I said, why? He said, yes, you have been going to deeper life church. My mom said, you don't make care. You don't fish with her. You don't even make up. That is why. See, you are not, you not look old. I said, eh, is that what your mommy said? My mommy said, we should not be close to you again. I we should not be telling you anything again. And I said, ah, your mommy said, I'm not old. I said, well, you know what you do for me. When you get home, tell your mommy that in my eyes, I might be old, but in the eyes of God, I'm very young. He not say, okay, that he will tell my mom. He not say, mom, auntie, you try to be making up and be fishy with Vona so that you will not look old again. I say, no, this is the parlor that I'm going to, that I look old, I just like it. I say, tell your mommy that very soon she will join me and she will still look like old woman too. So that was how I now woke up from the, this when I woke up and I called my husband, I said, ah, look at the revelation that I had, oh, please, can you explain it to me? So my husband was trying to explain that the thing. So my husband said, I should go and dress up. So that it will, uh, will be, it will put my phone on a live video that will be sharing the the revelation to people. And I said, no, me, I cannot do that because I'm a very shy person. 
So I couldn't call evangelist. Well, I have to write evangelist. I said, evangelist, please, I have the two revelation. When you are free, please uh, let me know so that I will call you and explain to you, tell you my revelation so that you explain to me. It was like evangelist did not read the message because yesterday that he not read the message, he not called me. So I explained everything to him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you, sister. Bless you from uh, Germany. Uh, please, before Sister Germany, uh, Sister Blessing from Germany enter, I want you to know that two of uh, the weakness of uh, two or three persons are true. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yes. The weakness of two or three persons, is it not true? Yes. Huh? yes. Let's hear for our sister Jamie. God bless you. Sister Blessing, are you there from Jamie? Mama Erica. We are not hearing you. Mama Erica, we are not hearing you. Okay, we are not hearing you and uh, we proceed. Maybe another day we take your program. Please, can you sign out and return back so that we can hear you? Maybe because you sign out, you sign in for two, two things we are not hearing you my brothers and sisters okay she's calling yes sister we are hearing you now can you hear me can you hear me Betty. yes we are not hearing, maybe because of, uh, I don't know whether you sign out, you sign you for two things. I believe. Yeah, good morning, sir. Good morning, everyone. I, I believe you are hearing her, am I right? Yes, good morning. God bless you. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, my, my own uh, resolution go like this. The first one was uh, in January, I think January. So God will do to me, show to me now. When I was working in the street, so I was pressing my phone, checking to Facebook, you know, the way we always chat on Facebook and uh, WhatsApp and all those that, and checking things. So I was pressing my phone in the street, just from in the street. So in that street, I get to the point that I saw people running front and back, those that running front. When they run to front, they don't see where it's like they're moving, they will run back. So they are running from the back, they will see that they don't go to the back, they will run to the front. So just like from the market space, everybody was running up and down, running up to the back. So, we took more no time, I was still pressing my phone, no. even when they are running, I will just draw my face so that they will not share my phone. So, Mr. Palma, I want to hear his voice. He said, you know, just call me by my name. So, what are you still doing with angry? He said, what are you still doing with your phone? What are you still doing? And he said, they are not Christian. They are in front of me. They are Christian. But I never listen to that because I'm in my phone. But people are still on me. I'm just trying myself so that I don't know from you or better from my phone. I was in person. And he said, without voice, with anger. He said, what are you, my daughter? Just call me by my name. He said, what are you still doing with your phone? Get this thing with what you saw. That is, is, it, is it not time for you to go backwards when I put in your pocket? What are you going to do with me or hunger? So I said, what did you say? What did you first speak to me? The first went, went off. So after that, I just look around. I see that I didn't concentrate on my phone again. I just saw the way people are just running, running, running up and down, running just from the pocket to the actual shoes. It's just like market is with money. So I just carried my phone and I put it. I said, oh, what am I going to do this? I've not done this. I've not done this. I've not this kind of thing before because I'm a very kind of body. Even they can hurt me. I always be fear in me alone. You just like anything. So, oh, what am I going to do this? How am I going 
going to turn good. That should push. What would I have to push to people? What would I have? How am I going to start? I think what makes good? What to don't join them? You join them. Anything. So if those guys are is, 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 is not that you appreciate, you can learn from them. No, you can't. Because I've heard before, when some people went to preach, when they are first funny, then I all that. I said, okay, no problem. Just, uh, just come off a bottle uh, of that uh, rubber. I take it and I take a uh, wood. I start, I start marking it. When they are not, they'll say, prepare it. I just start hitting the, the bottle, hitting the rubber of that bottle. So I start hitting it. I, 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 was, I was hitting it and saying, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. I was hitting it. So in the midst, when I was hitting it, that's only the word I was saying that truth. I said, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent, repent. That's where I asked I, I even told one of my, our member here, and I think that we attend the same church. Well, before I did this cut, I said, look at what I do. Look at I don't understand about all these things. I don't, I don't really understand this is the relation I got, but I don't understand it. It's where all these things start and I, everything come, uh, 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 start to reflect and open it up and say, hey, this is what God really showed me about. So the second one was this is the one I just uh, lie down because I'm in work. So I just break up, I was just break just because of mercy. I was praying for mercy for the work for God to show mercy. So I just uh, after I break, I just wake up and I'm, I pray and I lie down. So when sleep just take me, it's that hard to me. It's so time I start dreaming. When I dream in that dream, God just return to me. Because it's like I, I was in touch of it and saying what is really going on. I don't really understand what is going on. And it just appeared and showed to me. He, he speak to me, he said, This is just the beginning, my daughter. He said, This is not the end. He said, It's going to take me so good. It's, it's, it's just, it's just, it's just the beginning. He said, It's going to take a lot. He said, Because he has closed his eyes. He said, Because his eyes could not behold all this. He said, This is. If this is, it cannot start this. He says, it cannot start this. If this is not the plan. He says, but he says, it's like this. He says, he cannot be hated. That's why. He says, this is just the beginning. He says, it's going to go a lot. A lot of families. A lot is going to take a lot along. It's going to take a lot. With anger. So with that anger, just fear of the thing. It's not thinking the song like this. I bow before the Lord. Oh, she passed off. Yes. I bow before your throne. You are the glory of God. I was thinking that's not that truth. Thinking is, thinking is, thinking is, thinking is, thinking that's not the extent of red tea, red tea on the watch. Many people they are just here, yeah, they are just locking their face inside uh, 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 the skin skin to go out to mingle with the people. It's not, it's, it's not, it's showing me that it's the one to see. It's not for us presenting ourselves, locking ourselves inside. God, God is free. God is free. So that I when I speak of, I told my husband, I said, please, I think I speak, I speak to you. It's like in that dream, when it went, I, I was, I opened my mouth, I said, let me just speak with somebody. It's like I want to speak with somebody. So, and I woke up, when I was telling her, I, I asked my husband, please, did I say anything to you? He said, yeah. He said, I opened my mouth, I said something because he was on phone, but he did not, he did not put his fear down. He said, but he did not know what I said. I said, if I tried to speak, because when the thing went off, I I wanted to be with somebody that is close to me. Say I say something, but you do not know what I said. I said that is where I just take phone and I call that. I say, Daddy, look at what what uh, what I really dream of, what I saw. I don't understand. So I will said we should repair. This is just the sign of God. Praise the Lord, my brothers and sisters. Those that have here, let them hear what the Spirit of God is saying. 
that uh, what God is saying this time, is telling the whole world should prepare for war. But you and I must know that uh, God will not destroy the wicked and the righteous people. We need to let the people of the whole world to hear this message. We need to let them know that Jesus Christ is on the throne, weeping. Hear what uh, our sister said. That he said that this is not a plan that he had for us. This was not a plan. But since men have chosen to be so, and now he will give it to them as they decided to have it so. Brothers and sisters all over the world, the hour has come for you and I to search our life in truth. Being a member of Good Morning Just Family Foundation does not guarantee you you will be you will be left beside when you are living in sin. I hope you are hearing me. Yeah? I hope we are hearing. Yes, sir. What guarantee you that the message you are hearing, you live by it? What guarantee you that you turn away from your wicked way? What guarantee you that you check your life, that you are not in Egypt, you are in Goshen? It happened in Gosh, it happened in Egypt. But the people in Egypt was crying. Why the people in Goshen, there was no tears over there. Friend, your house can be a Goshen. Your life, you can be in a place of a world, you can be in Goshen, that there is nothing evil in you. There's a time for all Christians to repent and return back to God. But anybody that decided not to return back, the person should wait and hear and we see what God is going to do. The whole world has confused. He has confused all the daughters. Am I right? He has confused the daughters. The daughters have not able to discover the, the solution. Why? Because God is in charge. When God is in charge of the matter, he will finish it. But in our prayer, God will show us his mercy. Mercy upon the world, if the whole world can return back to God. If the whole world can really come back to Jesus, I tell you, it will be so wonderful. To confirm the revelation once again, I want to show you things you need to know in the Bible. Wherever you receive this message, let this message be passed to the people around you. Don't hear it alone. Share it to them. Let them know that the king of kings is in charge of the whole world. I could remember in January when, uh, when we were in, uh, in meeting with our father in the Lord. He told us that the whole world has provoked God to act. And now it is a time proper for God to act. Friend, that the whole world they want war, and now God wants to give them war. He said, are you seeing the war now? Are you seeing the war? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is what he told us. He gathered us. All, he gathered us together all over the world. This meeting was held at Imo State, at our war mama. That is what he told us. That now the, the whole world, they want to war for God. God wants to give them war, and the war has come. Let them shoot God now. Friend, the Bible is true. The word of God is true. I pray that we that hear it, that we will run to make amendments and return back to God. No matter how you protect yourself, do you know how many daughters have died so far for this issue? All we need, the whole world, repent. The evil men, turn away from your evil. The people that are living holy life, stand on the gap of holiness. And God will show us his mercy. Let's confirm the word. 
really know that this message, this information is true. In the book of Nehu, chapter 1, the topic we are hearing this morning, the Lord is slow to anger. The Lord is what? Slow to anger. In Nehu, chapter 1, are we there? Yes, sir. Take it from verse 1 for me. The, the body of 9v, the book of the vision of Nehu, the echo shite. God is jealous and the Lord revenge. The Lord revenge. The Lord revenge. And if furious, the Lord will take vengeance on his adversary and he reserved wrath for the enemies. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at, at all acquit the wicked. Acquit the wicked. The Lord at his way in the wild wind and in the storm and the clouds at the dust of his feet. He rebuked the sea, the sea and, and make it dry and dried up all the rivers. Basha languished, languished the Kame and the flo flower of Labanion languished, Labanion languished. Five, the mountains qu uh, quack at him and the ill mate and the earth is born at his presence. Yea, the, ye the world and all that dwell therein. Sis, who can stand before his indig indignation? And who can abide in the fierce, fierce, fierceness of his anger? His fury is, is poured out like fire, and the rocks are thrown down by him. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. Eight, but with an over, overrunning, overrunning flood, he will make an utter end of the place thereof, and darkness shall pursue his enemy. Nine, what do you imagine against the Lord? He will make an utter end. Affliction shall not rise up the second time. Ten, for why, for why they be folded together as stones? And why they are drunk as drunkards, they shall be devoid as stumble fully dry. 11. There is one come out of thee that imagine, imagine it, imagine it evil against the Lord, a wicked counselor. 12. That said the Lord, though they be quiet and likewise many, likewise many, yet thou shalt they be cut down. When it shall pass, true thou, I have afflicted thee. I will afflict thee, thee no more. I will afflict thee no more. 13. For now will I break his yoke from off thee, and will burst will burst the bonds in sunder. 14. And the Lord hath given a commandment for signing thee, that no more of the name be so sound out of the earth of the gods will I cut off the graving image and the mortal image. I will make the grave for that at will. Behold, upon the mountain, the feet of him that bringeth good things, good tidings, that publish peace. O Judah, keep the solemn, 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 solemn feast, perform the voice for the wicked shall no more pass through thee. He is utterly cut off. Amen. Yes. God bless you. Friend, do you see what happened here? That the word is true. God is God is desire to give to God have this, uh, decided right now. He have decided to give sinners time. He, he gives sinners time to repent. He gives people to turn away from their wickedness. 
He give people, he give people time to turn away for their idols, for their foolishness, for their rebellion, for all those things that they are doing, that the world has been doing, what has been spitting on him, what has been rejecting him, what has been mocking him, what have been saying there is no God, and uh, all such of things. And God, God has held quiet for years. And now let's look at the first second Peter chapter. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 9, so that we really confirm that uh, how God has given the world time. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 9. Are we there? Yeah. Yeah. Let's the Lord that is area. Go ahead if you are there. The Lord is not slack for signing his promise. Yeah. And some men can't seek slackness, but is long long suffering to us, to us world us wide, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Yes, that is what God has been expecting the whole world to come. He has, he has opened the door for the whole world to repent for their wicked way, but the world decided to continue the wickedness. The world decided to continue in rebellion, rebellion, rebellion against God. The world decided some people, some part like Italy, they have a, their spiritual card they pray. They have their courtism, they do their courtism, they do their evil, evil atrocity. I don't know the country where you are living, how they are, the world they serve there. And every country serve, have their own idol they are serving. Whether in Europe or Africa, they have their own things that they are serving. But now, the time has come. That is why you see where we read here in the book of Nehu. And uh, it begin to tell us, it begin to tell us that he's going to destroy all those things that they are, all those things they serve. And then now the hour has come for him to what to avenge. He wants to avenge, to do his war proper, to avenge and war and fight against all his enemies, all the enemies that are rebel against him, the person who created you. And then you neglected the person, and now he have decided to want to act proper. It is a time of the Lord proper to act for the whole world to know the people that will remain in this time. They will run unto God to serve God. I told all my people, I'm still telling you this morning. You have not called your people in Africa. Call them and tell them not to be afraid. But they must put away all those idols that are still under their bed. If they didn't put them away, and I tell you, coronavirus will visit them, whether they are in village anywhere. Are you hearing me? This is not the work of them. I will tell you where they are, because the Lord knows where they are. Are you hearing me? The one that are running away from anywhere, let them begin to run. The blood, if the blood of Abel, it look right to heaven, then you are telling me the blood of the innocent one mm -hmm. in Nigeria. Those blood will not cry to reach heaven. Am I right? Eh? Is that not true? I'm asking a question. Is that not true? If the blood of Abel and Lou could reach heaven now, the blood of all these innocent thousands of churches that have been born to ashes and their blood will not reach heaven. The blood is crying to cry in heaven. And now the Lord have decided now to come down by himself to what? To avenge for himself. Are you hearing me? Therefore, what you and I need to do in a time like this, that we must, uh, we must hold on to the truth word of God. We must, we must remove our hand away from sin. We must, now they are telling you to clean your hand with uh, soap, with, uh, with, uh, with chemical, with alcohol. Am I right? But you need to clean your hand away from sin. That is what I am telling you. Clean your hand away for what? For sin. Okay. I said what? Clean your hand away from what? From sin. Okay. If you like, use uh, the whole alcohol in this world to clean your hand. I tell you, it will jam you. Are you hearing me? The only, the only thing that will enable you to be free eh, is only if you clean your hand away from sin. Friend, the Prime Minister of UK, they have carried the, the coronavirus. Many other total people have carried it. Are you telling me those people, they have not been cleaning their hand? Eh? I'm asking a question. They are cleaning their hand. But yes. This, yes. This is, not a, this is not a matter of that. Clean your hand away from sin. That is the truth. Friends, in a time like this, but, they, but Jesus, Jesus give time for repentance, but there is a limit. 
there is a limit to his kindness and patience to those to those people that decided to live to, to do evil wickedly they decided to live wickedly way but now he has come down to what to act and to remove to release his wrath upon them let's see in the book of a roman chapter 11 verse 22 romans chapter 11 Verse 22. Yes, Romans chapter 11. Let another person read if he is there. Behold, therefore, the goodness and severity of God, of whom we fear severity, but toward the goodness, if thou continue in his goodness, otherwise thou also shall be cut off. Are you saying that if only thou that are talking, that are he hearing this morning, if only thou continue in what in his goodness, otherwise thou also shall be what shall be cut off. There is a name for you to continue of what of serving the Lord. There is a name for you to continue of what holiness. There is a name for you to right now. They are sweeping. They are they are sweeping outside. You need to sweep inside your home. Check all the little little thing that remain. You need to what because the little level level all. Are you hearing me? There is a need for you to cut them off. When you cut them off, that is the only way you can be what you can be set, you can be set free. A time like this, the Lord is calling all his children to remain steadfast on him because he has decided right now to act in the book of Nehu. Let's read Nehu chapter 2. Nehu chapter 2. Nehu chapter 2. Let's read from verse 13. Are we there? Yes, sir. Yes. Chapter 2, verse 13. Behold, is it not of the Lord of hosts that no. the people. No. No. Chapter, chapter 2, two. Ah, sorry. Yeah. Behold, no, I am against thee, let said us. the Lord of hosts. Behold, I am against thee, said the Lord of hosts, and I will burn her chariots in the smoke, and the sword shall devour the young lions. And I will cut off the prayer from the earth, and the voice of the messenger shall no more be heard. Yes, the voice of the messengers of those people, those excellencies that are saying there is no God, that is Big Bang that created the world. God has decided right now to what to cut them off. Friend, behold, I am against thee. The Lord is against the world. And now who wants to withstand the let him withstand him? Who wants to fight him? Let him fight him. God himself stood against the nation today, the nation of the world, the prince of the world, the, the, all, the, all, the, all the nation. God himself is against them because, because the time for their repentance has passed, was passed. The time of repentance has passed now, and now it is the time of judgment for them to face the judgment of God. They receive the judgment of God right now, friend. You must what, do everything possible to run away. You must do everything possible to run away. Let the sister, the sister that was reading before, uh, Mrs. George, let her read in book of Nehu chapter 3, verse 5. Nehu chapter 3, verse 5. Read there. Nehu chapter 3, verse 5. Nehu chapter 3, verse 5. I should read, sir. Yes. Okay. Behold, I am against thee, said the Lord of hosts, and I will, I will discover, I will discover thy, thy skates upon thy face, and I will show thy nation thy nakedness, and the kingdom thy shame. Yes, are you saying it now? God, is he showing the nation now their, their nakedness? Eh? Yes. You see how he turned the food, how he turned the daughter's uh, wisdom to become foolish? Eh? that the daughters, they have been discovered all many things, but now they are not able to discover what they can do because this is the word, the wrath of God. My brothers and sisters, you must what? You must do everything possible to run away from the way of what? Of the wicked. Now let's read in the book of, uh, the book of uh, Exodus chapter 43, verses 6 to 7. Exodus. Let's confirm. I want to confirm the revelation of our sisters for you to know that the, the revelation is true. That the revelation that you should not jeopardize with it, you there is a need for you to send it to your brothers and sisters. Let them know 
that the wrath of God is upon the wicked during the time like this. Go ahead. Exodus chapter 34. We take it from verses 6 and 7. And the Lord passed by before him and proclaimed the Lord, the Lord God, merciful and gracious, long suffering and abundant, abundant in, in goodness and truth, keeping mercy for thousand, for thousand, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, and that will, that will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the father upon the children and upon the children's children's unto children's unto third and to children the fourth generation. Also, yes. God bless and you. Moses. Stop there. Okay. Stop there. Do you see that? Unto the third generation and the fourth generation. Yes. Because of the wickedness of the world have increased to a level for God to visit the whole world. Friend, do you know that the uh, uh, day before yesterday, Italy witnessed 1,000 people die within 24 hours? Mm. Within 24 hours, Spain is crying, Germany is crying, America mm. is they are crying. The whole mm. world, world, there is a cry everywhere. Because, but do you know right now, the, the, the worst thing, but the world have not yet realized to say, no, I need to, we need to return back to God. How many nations are you seeing right now? How many prime ministers are you seeing? Say, nation, we, we have uh, to do all our best. We need to bow down and repent for our sins. How many nations? Because their heart, God, you know, that time when God wants to deal with the Pharaoh, God make the heart of Pharaoh to be hard so that he can show his power. Now, the time of mercy, this is the time of the judgment. Now you, you carry the gun, you that have the gun, they are spending millions, trillions, 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 but is that the solution? I'm asking the question, is that the solution? And the solution right now is for every man or woman to rule, to turn away and realize that is almighty God. And people refuse to realize that there is a God. People refuse to realize that somebody created them. Friend, I pray that God will show us his mercy this time in Jesus' name. In the book of, uh, the book of uh, Nehemiah, somebody can open Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 17, Job chapter 9, verse 4, uh, Psalm chapter 18, verse 7. Therefore, after those ones, we pray. Let's uh, see what the Lord is, uh, is having for us. Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 17. Jeremiah 9, 17, thus says the Lord of hosts, consider ye and call for the morning. No, not here. The, okay. Nehemiah. Nehemiah. Oh, chapter okay, 9, verse 17. Nobody's there? Yes, sir. I refuse to obey. Neither we are mindful of the wonders that thou doest among them, but harden their neck and with their billions appointed a captain to return their bondage. For thou art God, ready to pardon, gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and for great kindness, and for the fosterers they not. Yes, God bless you. Do you see that uh, these people, they refuse to obey the word of eternal life. They refuse to obey the person that created them. They refuse to what, to hearken unto it in um let somebody read there in Psalm 18. Psalm 18, verse 7. Let's see. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundation also of the hill moved and were shaken because he was brought. Yes, because of the wrath of God. The foundation of the earth is it shaking now? Yes. The yes, foundation sir. is it moving, is shaking. The whole world is shaking. The whole world is what is, they are, they are confused. But God, the children of God should not be confused. Amen. The children of God should not be afraid because they, we are no bastard children. Our father is in charge. 
Can he destroy the righteous and with the wicked? No. But the Lord wants to show us that he is the Almighty. How many of you, we are not afraid of God? Pastors are burying many woman bees in their altar. Are you not saying that God should not visit those pastors also? Eh? He will visit all, all the wicked people that, were, that, that, that shed blood, that decided to promote lesbianism, that decided to promote homosexual, that decided to promote atrocity. God will visit the nations. We read the final place in the... Let's read that place, um, 9, chapter 9, 4. Is it Job? Yes. Job 9, 4. Okay. Yes. He is wise in heart and mighty in strength, who had hardened himself against him and had pros pro um, prospered. Yes, read 5. Okay. Which removed the mountain and the know not, which overturned them in his anger. Yes, God bless you. Do you see that? Who overturned it, it with what? With his anger. Friend, don't make a God to use you. Don't allow God to use you as example. Do you know how? Do you see that God is using Italy as example? Eh? Eh? Yes, sir. You know that uh, Italy, the whole world, eh? no country have had the higher numbers of the people that die so far in the whole world. Italy. Italy is now more than 9,000 something for this few period. But they have not yet come to realize they need to cry to God. Friend, this morning, let you, you must set yourself proper. You must do everything possible to return back to Goshen. If you have entered Egypt, you still have opportunity right now to return back to Goshen. Otherwise, the rod that will fall on the people in Egypt will fall on you. This morning, we are going to pray. And uh, also, the fasting and prayer that is starting on the first, second, third is going to be a, a different fasting of thanking the Lord for how God has preserved us so far. Are you hearing me? It's going to be three days that we are going to use it to appreciate God. It's going to be like that. If God had not been on our side, the enemy could have swallowed us. If God had not been with us by now, we could have joined those thousands of people that joined their ancestors. Is that not true? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yes, sir. God has been with us. This morning, I want you to pray and tell the Lord to look upon us with his mercy. If this anger continues, if this anger visit Africa the way he's visiting Europe, friend, I was telling the people that was with us in the all night, I said, if God visit Africa the way he's visiting Europe now, Europe have resources, America have resources, does Africa have the resources? Not that we don't have the resources, but there are people, demonic people that be in position, they, they, they hijack the resources of the whole Africa. But we are going to pray for our people that God should look upon us with his mercy. That God should not consume us for our wickedness. That God should remember the blood of Jesus Christ. He should. He shared in the blood of Calvary. That God should not wipe away the whole world. That his, his blood will not be in faith. Let's bow down our heads. And tell the Lord we are sorry. Let's talk to God this morning. Let's tell him to show us his kindness. <laughs> Eternal Father, you have confirmed your word to let us know your word is true and your word is final. That it is not because we are too righteous, neither because we are holy, that it's making it possible, that it's making it possible for us to be alive. Lord, it is by your mercy we have not yet consumed. It is by your mercy you are showing us the thing that is ahead of us. Heavenly Father, we are praying for mercy. Pray, Lord, for your kindness. We are praying that you will forgive us. We are praying that you will show us your pity. Father, have mercy upon the whole world. Remember the blood you shed in the cross of Calvary. 
Father, you shed your blood and said it is finished. Merciful Father, you wipe us away. That is, oh Lord, Lord, it will be in vain. Father, I know that the whole world we have sinned against you. We have repented against you. We have done evil in your sight. Lord, we ask for your mercy. Mercy upon us. Mercy upon the land where we are. The land all over the whole world. Show us your tender mercy. Show us your tender mercy. That at the end, my Father, in glory, Lord, your name alone will be highly exalted. Father, do not allow this coronavirus to kill us. Father, we know you are in charge. You have the power to stop it now. Father, look upon us with your mercy. Father, look upon us with your kindness. Father, you do not let your anger consume us. Do not let your anger finish us. Father, in glory, how mercy on us. And remember the promise you have with our father, Abraham, the Moses of our time. That he, oh Lord, my father, in glory. That my father, in glory, you will give him the seed. Holy Ghost, my father, we are the seed of Abraham. Lord, do not consume us, Lord. Look upon us with your mercy. Lord, look upon us with your mercy. Forgive our sin, Lord. Wash us, Lord, and make us holy, Lord. That at the end, we will have the cause to rejoice. Blessed be the Holy Name, Father. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Almighty Father, you are sure that you are going to stop it, but you want to, first of all, Show the whole world that you are the Almighty. Father, do not let him tarry, Lord. Amen. That is enough, Lord. Amen. Lord, look upon us with your mercy. Amen. Look upon Amen. us, oh Lord, with your kindness. Father, Amen. if we more than this, oh Lord, we are finished. Lord, if we more than this, oh Lord, my Father, in glory, we are finished. Lord, show us your mercy, Lord. Amen. Lord, mercy upon the whole world. Lord, I know you can even touch them for them to repent. Yes. Lord, I know you can do it. No one can draw except you draw. You owe the whole heart of the whole world. Father, show the whole world mercy. Oh, Let your mercy defend us, Lord. Amen. Lord, I know how many daughters have died so far in Italy. If they really give us the, the real number. Brother, what about Germany? What about France? What about other countries? My father, the daughters that are dying. Lord Jesus. Many of them, they are dying even without accepting you as their personal Lord. Trust that at the end, we have the cause of this. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed, Lord. Amen. Amen.